Hello, let's start with Aries. Okay, so this is for Aries and the rest of the fire signs. So let's have a look at Aries for June 2021 and Aries. Can we have energies for Aries for June 2021? Could we have energies here for, for Aries? Aries, Aries, bring in the energies here for Aries. Now I get a celebration here, but it's been put on hold. Um, so, um, yeah, it, there may be a, 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 an expectation or um, something that, that should be celebrated, but this has kind of been diluted for some reason maybe something has, has been cancelled or something has delayed or something be, has been postponed here with this reading uh, with this card whatever this may be and i do get here um this this is a bit kind of uh like a like the moon card which is things that you cannot see the moon card is things that you cannot see like psychic energy, intuition, mental health things, stress, anxiety, that kind of thing. Things that you cannot see. Uh, mysteries too. So this, this could also be a mystery. This is a mystery for you. And I also get that you should have been, um, you know, this is something that's been suppressed. I get that card there of celebration in reverse, okay. So whatever this is, it's been delayed or it's actually being postponed. I'm sorry if this has happened to you, but uh, whoever I'm reaching out to for Aries, um, you was hoping for this to happen and, um, and I do get the Lord here the Lord. The Lord is um, is a male. Um, it, it, it's masculine energy around this. It could even be um, a relationship. Uh, something. Well, whatever this is, it's been put on hold. Whether this, whatever this may be, and I keep repeating this because it could be anything. It could be anything, and um, I feel we have this, which is this card here, which is the Seven of Wands, and the Seven of Wands is a challenge, a challenge, obstacles to overcome and um here but you are you do have a clear advantage point with this situation whatever this may be it's throwing up challenges and the two of of wands is facing this this journey this new journey um it's not how you thought it would be it's this this differences within this journey but that's that seems to be okay and you will actually um work around these differences around this journey wow so what i get here is <laughs> um sometimes a fairy tale doesn't work out kind of thing or or because of the elephant in the room there's an elephant in the room whatever that elephant in the room for you is you're having to walk around this and um, you didn't anticipate this but this seems to be what's going on here this is a weird kind of reading sorry uh, Aries so I get um, actually looking at your finances and keeping everything stable at the same time and I get the world card now I get a, a to get to to reach the world card okay which is you know completion fulfillment um, abundance 
achievement completion again uh, feeling on top of the world um, and uh, some kind of personal development here to actually feel this 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 kind of completeness you have these other obstacles to climb over which you didn't anticipate you thought that well it should have been it should have been quite straightforward but you know people get in the way life gets in the way um, the covid the pandemic gets in the way i think this is a big part of this okay and it's like like that elephant in the room is walking around it to actually get to the world card i just feel for most of us aries that that life is throwing up lots of challenges and lots of delays even hospital appointments and admissions um, people having to put up with uh, pain and discomfort because you know everything's been put on hold because of of this pandemic which normally this this wouldn't happen um, but I get here to actually re reach the world card you're just having to jump a lot of hopes and and try to get around all of these obstacles okay it's harder it seems harder than what it normally is or what it normally would be okay so um <clears throat> so get here uh the 10 you feel a little bit let down you feel let down the 10 of swords um it's this is saying at the present moment things could could improve um, I get here people stabbing you in the back for no because you see I get once over happier times once over happier times this situation was a lot happier before and it may not be because of the pandemic it may be because the newness the newness of this relationship the newness of this marriage the newness of this situation the newness of this job it, you know you had high expectations um, it shouldn't have been as difficult as this and then you get you know um, people see that you are starting to be happier starting to achieve and and then you get the knives coming out here and this is this is something that um, you know that people some people can get very envious very jealous and it can be people that you're not even aware of you know the the person you never thought that would ever be like this it could be a family member it, it could be uh, you know it, it, this toxicity could actually just start to seep out and th this is the energy I get with this reading is this energy just seeping out because I get here this should have been straightforward you know and but it it just feels that that somebody is making problems for you um here because they see that 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 things are, are looking good for you or you're starting to uh, live a happy a happy life and and the life that you deserve and you've worked extremely hard for this but people don't want you to you know th this is like a, a a poverty kind of m mentality is um it's 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 going back and I, i've been saying this in a lot of my it's going back this generational uh curse of you know the last generation the generation before that where where people did really live in extreme poverty and it's like this curse you know it's it's we don't live in that massive um poverty anymore but the, there's still this mindset and this mindset is uh you, you know you can't be happy you can't have what i don't have and and it's it's living from hand to mouth you know starvation comes back it's it's like um 
a, 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 you know, it's like a her hereditary kind of thing. It's uh, from from ancestry. So it's like this mindset of of poverty. Um, I, I don't like you having what I don't have, and I don't like you like jealousy, envy kind of thing and it's people you didn't even expect it could be in-laws too it could be oh well I, I never expected that from that person and uh, so um, because you are stepping out I feel this is who you are naturally which is the princess of wands you're very outgoing you're very, very dynamic you have this drive within you and this is your spirit this is your spirit nobody can take away they may try to take away your spirit but nobody can take that away and I feel this is this is what they're jealous of and envious of is this spirit of yours and um, and I, I going back in history and I know I'm going back in history here but this seems very poignant um, your ancestry may have lived in extreme poverty and if there, there was anyone everybody walked around miserable no money starvation all this kind of thing which is understandable you know pouring rain every day and and you know living uh, from hand to mouth and i get here and and you're strutting around being very kind of uh, dynamic confident I'm going to do this I'm going to get there you're not going to get in my way kind of thing when it doesn't fit in with with the, the struggles that people are having so this is like a uh, a spiritual kind of curse in a way it's 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 a spiritual war that you're trying to live the best life that you can live yet people are not allowing you to do so, which comes from ancestry, yeah. Now that is a bizarre reading, I know. I'm going to just pull out um, in June, this is in June, okay. And it's difficult, if, especially if you're caring, you're an empath, you're sensitive, and, and you want everybody else to be happy around you. You want everybody to be happy, uh, you're happy, you, you want your whole extended family, your friends to be happy, but they're not, they're not happy for you. And it's, it's like, okay, um, and this is confusing, it like throws a spanner in, in the situation and, and then it makes you unhappy because people are not happy for you. And this, this keeps you in this like depressive kind of, um, you know, uh, poverty kind of mentality. Yeah, so I don't know if that makes sense to you, but I'm getting a lot of ancestry coming through for your reading, Aries. Um, and, and trying to break your spirit in a way of this dynamic person. None of it is appropriate. None of it is, is appropriate at all. But it, it's something that, that it's just ingrained and indoctrinated into the system. Um, so let me just pull some cards out here. Yeah, because I see you happy. Um, you want to celebrate. As I said, you want to celebrate. This is great. But people are saying, oh, well, I'm not allowing you to celebrate. It's like, okay, that's done now. Let's just get on with it. Um, and it, they're not allowing you to enjoy this moment in your life, if that makes sense. Um, because of the po poverty, you know, it's the death card, which is, I don't like getting the death card, but uh, it's like, that's it now, ended, so let's just move on, let's start going, let's go back to being in, in this depressing lifestyle and life goes on and you know and, and all this kind of thing which is unbearable because what's unbearable is not allowing something that should be celebrated to be celebrated that's what's so unbearable and um and, and, and any kind of normal um functioning 
environment who who thrive on 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 actually being very kind of positive and let let's encourage each other and champion each other towards a, a better life and let's move on from this um instead of like you know because normally you would like have a celebration and um and enjoy that moment but because of this mentality now we've got to stop this this ends now it's not fair that you're celebrating and having this amazing joyful time you could even be getting married okay it could be a marriage um, it could even be the person you know it could be a wedding even and after the wedding it's that's it now let's get back to normal and you know bringing it all back down to earth um you know we can only afford a, a small wedding and, and and actually dampening down the the uh the, the engagement could be an engagement uh, but it's dampening down this spirit your spirit your spirit here and you want to celebrate you want to feel good you want to feel happy you want to to you know get past this elephant in the room whatever this elephant in the room is and you want to uh to do this um so aries whatever this delay is here it's supposed to be a celebration but it's delayed because of this poverty mindset okay um so let's let's pull out some um car cards here from the oracle from the the divine for aries so let's have a look companionship companionship now the companionship giving someone your complete presence is an astonishing gift and that's that's a lovely card to have uh, companionship so this could be related to this relationship and um, there's only so much companionship to go around and uh, maybe this is what is uh, this person is not a lot not allowing you to celebrate kind of milestones here and uh, let's just get on it's done now let's not go on on and on about it and and, and all this kind of thing um it, there's companionship but there's also self-love and this is if this if people are not allowing you to enjoy a moment then and taking that moment away from you then you need to give that moment to yourself you need to say no hang on a minute i'm going to enjoy this i'm going to enjoy this moment i am going to really um you know em embrace this moment it says at the bottom let the wall fall that separates me from my own vulner vulnerable inner child I long to take care of myself like never before. I feel there's a recognition of this blocking of your energies. Is it a generational curse? It could be, it could be. I look at our energy card here for this reading. Um, so look, let's put, pull out an energy card for this reading for Aries. A bit of a strange reading this one but I, I get this but when this is extreme when when you have a, a, a situation a moment that should be celebrated whether it's a holiday or whether it's you know having a having a child having a baby an engagement uh, getting a new job uh, uh, actually um, uh, graduating from university whatever this may be it deserves to be celebrated and when you've got people around you that just want to dampen this down dampen down your flame of like you don't even deserve to celebrate well you know um, and keeping it all very kind of down to earth I get here it is what it is it is what it is these people that are around you can't help who they are it is what it is 
and you can test this too you could test this and say um, you could make something up and say i've got this amazing opportunity um, I can't believe that that actually that they're even taking me seriously and I'm so excited about this new opportunity. You could test this and I can guarantee you that they will bring up some negativity around this opportunity that you have uh, a dream about. Test it, test it out for this like poverty mentality. So it is what it is. I don't feel I need to... Um, you know, no, I can look at this, but I feel that I already uh, kind of kind of realise what that means. It is what it is. Um, but we'll have a look what it says in here. I'll just read the uh, passage here from this. Um, if you step back with clarity and acceptance, you will realize that life is offering you something magical. Even if circumstances send you in a temporary detour, you will discover treasure beyond your imagination and new, a new way to embrace the world. Keep this prayer in mind. God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. I'm going to leave that one with you. A little bit of an awakening, I feel. So we'll go on to the next reading, which is uh, Leo. Okay, so let's have a look at uh, Leo. So let's have a look at Leo. Leo, what energies have we got here for, for Leo for June 2021? What energies do we pull in here for Leo for 2021? So what energies? I think visualization. I feel visualizing, and I know that sounds a bit watery, but uh, flaky, but <clears throat> visualization of, I get the sun card here, happiness. And this is very much, um, the energies here, it's very much um, what you give out to the universe, you, you will receive. <clears throat> Excuse me. And, um, and uh, also uh, visualizing, um, <coughs> excuse me, I've got a cough. <laughs> visualizing that, um, you know, that, that dream situation, that dream job or that dream situation you would like to see yourself in, the, this, this business that you would... Uh, like to see yourself running or um, this job that you would like to uh, to actually uh, you know get yourself into this particular profession or work situation this is saying visualize yourself actually doing the job visualize yourself <coughs> being um, running that business Visualize yourself um, running around like uh, being busy in that environment and, and, and actually feeling very fulfilled and happy in that environment. If you could just visualize yourself doing that, very fulfilled. This is what I've always wanted to do. And <clears throat> believe me, it works okay. I feel visualization and giving um, cosmic kind of orders to the universe. It, it brings you, if it does not bring you the exact thing, it will bring you something similar. Be careful what you wish for too. <laughs> I also get that. So, um, <clears throat> so visualization, I also get this card here, which is the high priest. And the high priest, uh, what well, I read the high priest as, 
uh, tradition. So whatever this is, I also do get past lives coming into this. Um, it's something that's driven from a past life. It's, it's steeped in tradition here, whatever that may mean. In a past life that may have been uh, steeped in tradition. Um, yeah, I get this energy of, of a past life here. It may not be tradition now, you know, like going back to, uh, I don't know, the 1930s or something like that, and, and you wanted to be a policeman, okay, when kind of policemen were, were have not been around for, for that long, well, 1920s. Um, uh, so back then, to visualise, just you know, to be a policeman, it would be highly respected position. The whole community would have uh, respected you and very kind of traditional. And, um, <clears throat> and say if you wanted to be a nurse back in the 1920s, that, that was a very commendable, respectable uh, profession, job, and you know, you're helping the sick and all this. So although it's changed now, I do get this energy of a past life situation, the tradition um, <clears throat> kind coming through here. This is what you cannot see, <clears throat> the moon card. The moon card is something you cannot see which is a past life, uh, energy affecting uh, your life uh, at the present. Um, you cannot see this, but it is there, these, these influences, these influences of traditions. I get the four of pentacles and there is this like tradition too of which you maybe you don't even realize subconsciously uh, uh, consciously, sorry, maybe it's subconscious that, you know, you have to save every penny that you make and, uh, you know, make sure you save like 10% of everything you earn and all these traditions that are passed down from previous generations. So I don't know why I'm bringing this in here, but the visualisation of Maybe the tradition is that maybe there was this kind of, again, I, I get this with fire signs at the moment, <clears throat> you know, oh, you're, you're living beyond your means, you're, you're dreaming beyond what you can dream about, uh, you're looking too big at things when we need to keep things very kind of grounded. <clears throat> but I get the world card. And I don't feel that you are, because I feel that you may be saying, well, I, you know, my dream is to live in Africa, or my dream is to live in <clears throat> another country, and um, that is my dream. So if I visualize myself in this dream, walking around this, uh, this nice uh, property, then, you know, at least something may come back, or something like that. So it's, it's, it's going against the tradition in a way. It's actually wanting uh, more from your life. And to be honest with you, this looks like, what I'm getting here is, whatever this is, it's going to, you know, giving and receiving. This card here is the Six of Pentacles, which is kindness giving and receiving. If you give out to um, to the universe, you will receive. And I feel this will come to fruition. I'm not saying that your dreams will come true, but there is this edge about you that likes to keep everything grounded. You know, I have to be practical. I can't uh, sit and daydream all day about what I'd like to do, you know. And again, another practicality card. So the elephant in the room here is practicalities. Um, you would like to do this. 
this would be your dream but you're having to look at practicalities right now and i get here the lady the lady and the lady is someone who is respected uh, i feel that you know for getting respect in your situation and and being practical would be enough for you right now and that's what i get here uh, rather than being frivolous and reckless uh, i can get that it's like building bricks isn't it it's like building the foundation it's like building the foundations first because that's what the pentacles are foundations building the foundations first before you even can actually think about this dream and be reckless um leo so let's let's take this further because i feel that there is potential for you to whatever this practicality is this practicality may actually be a dream may actually um, unlock this dream for you it may not be something where you permanently are going to live overseas but you may actually go there quite regularly instead so there's like this 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 grounding but there's this sense of recklessness too so could you have both of these because this is your spirit leo i feel that you you like to be grounded you like to feel like uh, you're going to home every night and uh, you've got stability there and and this seems to be a priority but you still have this dream so let, let's have a look at this dream okay and um yeah because we get tradition uh we get groundedness we get practicalities but we've also got this dream here so you can, are you going to live your life thinking oh i always wanted to do that but it's just a dream i know it's just a dream now so how is this will this actually even if you get half of our quarter of this dream that would be enough okay so let's have a look at this in june are you on your way to um even if you you are being practical are you going on your way to visualizing a part of part of a dream maybe you're, you're visualizing a job where you can actually which can afford you time and flexibility to actually pursue this dream or yeah so I get the king of cups the king of cups is um, a gentleman on top of this can be a bit bit of a weakened character so although you believe in this dream this could be male or female energy um this other person around you may actually make you bring you back down to earth or you may meet someone and then you realize okay i'm going to have to have to choose between this person or this dream here and i get the justice card the justice card here And I feel this was part of you wanting to start a new beginning. So whatever that was before, I don't know what that was before, maybe a breakup or uh, a marriage dissolving or, or something like that, or, or maybe uh, a, a new kind of chapter. Part of your, your new beginning was this dream. And, um, but I get this, there's someone now that there is this this other influence which is either you've either a man or, or a lady uh, that you have to also take into account their their wants and wishes so there's two rows to choose from what do I choose here do I choose this this person who does not want to do this or do I go and, and actually go for my dreams 
So I get here the Ten of Pentacles, which is a fa happy family, stability, um, again, practicalities of having children, having a family, and all this kind of family around you, the practicalities of that. Um, <coughs> so I do get, <coughs> excuse me, there is this um, energy here of being grounded and secure within a family. But I also get here, which is the Ace of Pentacles, which is the money, the money side of this. Again, it's security, it's security, it's financial security, and I get you working, working hard. <coughs> Excuse me, I've got a cough today, sorry. Um, working hard, earning the pentacles, being very grounded here, but also having this spirit, Leo, of, you know, being dynamic, getting yourself out there, having some kind of, you know, you still have your spirit, you still have your, um, you know, your dreams, your ambitions, but in you're, you're kind of um, filtering these ambitions through this other situation, which is, which is going to earn you money. And uh, so you are going to, bring your dreams to fruition partly but you've also got other people to think about here I get tradition I feel that you will go with the tradition and the stability but also in some way uh, which is like uh, <coughs> maybe a nine-to-five job um, uh, you know, which is, uh, but also that this is kind of which I feel it's um, it's a balance. It's a balance of the security of of the family and actually being ambitious at the same time. But it's more like um, a nine to five rather than traveling the world and and doing that that thing that you dream about. So there's part of of this dream here coming to fruition and you actually being able to express who you are but actually keeping yeah I feel that you will choose to have stability that's what I get here I'm not saying that following your dreams is not stable um, you may even be dreaming of this nine to five job and visualizing yourself in this nine to five job and you may and, and if if um or this this uh, uh, shift work or or whatever it is you may be dreaming yourself you know they're uh, they're running around um, being very kind of complete and happy that you've got this job so that may be part of your dream here uh, so there is money that's working hard and you actually being able to be dynamic so it looks like this dream will come true if it's something to do with work and maybe this is a stepping stone in june which will take you to to other dreams that you're thinking about okay but this is the practicality of this that's what i'm getting here okay there's also you may actually if you're single you may meet somebody in june um who you've got to now take uh, or you may have met someone or you may be with someone that you've got to take in consideration of, of their dreams and and all this kind of thing so um let's have a look at my own cards here pull out some of my own cards here for this yeah look at that <laughs> i get the the golden retriever and the golden retriever is the de de the dependable uh dog dependable dependable and loyal so i feel you are going to be dependable and loyal i feel that's your 
your choice here but you still dream about this dream whatever this is there's also celebration here so uh, i feel that you are going to get halfway there you will get it's saying here that if you visualize this job this business whatever this is you will get halfway there you will celebrate this and there, there is like a, a dependability here and i also get the earth the earth um, card the earth signs card which is planting the seed here this is planting the seed this first step here to your dream part of your dream incorporated in your dream the first step is planting the seed and this is what this is it's actually planting the seed towards your dream okay so let's let's have a look at uh, an energy card for Leo. Let's have a look for Leo, an energy card for Leo, energy card for Leo. Yeah, I get body and soul. So body and soul is being complete, you know, being complete within your body spirit and your soul and it's important i feel it's important to and this is partly to do with what does your spirit say where would you feel most complete so let's have a look at <coughs> this card and pull out a passage here for this Let's have a look here. Just know that life loves you. With that in mind, your job is to do your part to make your experience a healthy one. How you nourish your body, mind and soul is directly related to how you experience your life. It's time to put yourself first, then everything else will fall beautifully into place well there you go okay that's your reading leo great reading absolutely uh so um if you would like anybody would like your own personal reading if you look in the description box at the bottom it actually uh, where it says about me <clears throat> at the bottom that there, there is um a uh, a booking website and you can book your own uh reading okay so go and have a look down there if you would like your own personal reading please like please share please uh sub subscribe i will be doing readings like this every month okay so keep your notification bells on i also do intuitive readings looking between the lines for uh the royal family and other situations so be aware of that but I also do these readings on a monthly basis thank you everyone and uh, bye for now bye bye